So I've had a few people write me asking about how I go about creating characters and making them in Photoshop before even bringing them into After Effects. And I figured what I would do is create a series of videos that just quickly outlined my process for a project I'm working on right now. So I'm going to just go through and show you some of the steps that I take in this particular process to create a character and bring it into After Effects. Obviously it would vary, everyone's methods are different, there's no one right method and mine definitely has some holes in it but it uh, seems to work alright for now. For these particular projects I usually get a breakdown sheet in the beginning of what the film is supposed to communicate to the viewers and what the, the viewers are supposed to learn. Included with that document is typically a research document that includes all of the potential research I could tap into to present the concepts or the learning objectives of the piece. So I usually go through those documents and try to find things that would communicate and would be interesting to somebody who's not a professional in that particular field. From there, we move into developing the script. And this is probably the longest process so with the first treatment of the script, I don't consider anything technical, how it's going to be done, or what the specific budget is. I do keep in mind the length of the piece, but really I'm just trying to do a first pass that covers all of the topics, but also tells a story that I feel like will be exciting to animate and create. And the second and third revisions are internal. We don't bring that directly to the client. We try to filter anything that's going to be too extraneous to create, too difficult. Um, we try to consider the medium of how, how we'd like to make the film, whether it will be 2D or 3D, and also what are the timeline and budgetary restraints. Usually the limitations are a blessing in disguise because they force me to be more creative and come up with interesting solutions to problems instead of obvious solutions. The software I use to write with is just Microsoft Word. I have used Final Draft in the past, but one of the problems we ran into was the client liked to make revisions and track those revisions, and they couldn't do that with Final Draft because they didn't have a copy of it. So it was a lot easier to format everything in Microsoft Word to look like a script, and then they could make changes and we could track it, and they could share that amongst all their other colleagues and coworkers. If there is an improval on the rough script as far as the content and the general direction, I will start designing a character. And I will start designing all kinds of different characters, just doing rough drawings. Usually I use samples from my sketchbook or people from real life to start. And then I modify it to suit the piece in question. Once I feel like I've created enough different versions, I compile them all together as one single image and I fire it off to the client so they can have a look and they usually circle a few that they're into or they might even take the character sheets down to do some testing with kids to see what they think and the most successful ones they circle and I develop them further and they're usually in a really rough stage at this point not exactly the best character drawings but they're a good start Alright, in the next video I will show you my process for creating storyboards and building an animatic from those storyboards with a temporary soundtrack.